फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय वर्क प्लेस एट राना घाट वेस्ट बंगाल इंडिया प्लीज एक्सक्यूज माय वॉइस टुडे दिस इज द ओनली सीइंग आई ऑफ अ 89 इयर्स ओल्ड मैन विथ मल्टीपल कोमोर्बिडिटीज लेट अस ऑब्जर्व दिस सर्जरी दिस इज द मेन वुंड एंड नाउ a side port is made on the left side of the main wound about 3 clock hours away and now we can see there is a hypermature cataract with very small people size of this people is about 3 mm or even less maybe 2.5 mm i am using tripan blue dye to stain the anterior capsule i go behind the iris and inject some dye so that the portion of the capsule covered by the iris is also stained the dye is washed out and then visco that is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected to fill up the anterior chamber and now in this case my plan is to use iris hooks So this is a stab wound at around nine fifteen o'clock. One more stab wound at one o'clock. Another stab wound at around four o'clock. And one more stab wound at around seven o'clock. four iris hooks have been planned to place some more visco and now the iris hooks the first hook is being placed at 7 o'clock you can place anywhere there is no rule which one to place first and now the second hook here at 9:15 but i cannot find the opening so i go to another opening place the hook at 1 o'clock pull the papillary margin gently not fully to some extent only at this time and this is another iris hook the silicone guard is retracted so that the papillary margin can be hooked and then the silicone guard is advanced and now i take a sinski hook to find out the stab on yes i got it and now the hook is the silicone guard is retracted and then the papillary margin is hooked and now the hooks are pulled to expose the anterior capsule and it is looking like a a rectangle a not exactly rectangle because the angle at 1 o'clock has become an acute angle and now capsulorexis is to be done i take a needle 26 gauge bend needle and incise the anterior capsule and pull the capsular tag and now i use a iterator forceps hold this capsular tag and go anti clockwise all around and i could get a fairly adequate sized rexis i'm expecting a hard nucleus this cataract has been neglected for a long time the patient should have got his surgery done about a couple of years back the cortex has become like 
it's chalky height means it became like a Molcagnian cataract and then the fluid got absorbed and we can see this cart like chalky white fluffy material this is the only seeing eye of the patient and if the patient gets mobile vision that will be a great thing for the patient and now the phaco needle goes in as it goes in it bevels down and care is taken to glide over the iris because iris hooks pull the iris forward and should not push the iris with the phaco needle now this is my submarine chop technique go through the substance of the nucleus and make a nice crack go through the substance again and make another crack and I got this free nuclear fragment and I'm emulsifying this fragment ultrasonic energy being used is about 80 percent flow rate is 40 ml per minute vacuum is 400 millimeter of mercury and with a lot of care and a lot of patience and a lot of gentle maneuvers the nucleus is being managed I'm keeping an eye on the movement of the posterior capsule and this is the cortex become like card which means this cortex got liquefied and then the fluid got absorbed and it is now like this and this is a large fragment it is being divided into smaller pieces and then it is emulsified caught the iris a bit here and this is a case where you cannot hurry up you have to take your time I turn the bevel on the right side to hold this piece and now I brought it at the center and now I'm going to use the chopper to divide this and now I emulsify this smaller piece it's a lot of patience a lot of balance has to be brought in the hands and now I have changed the chopper this is a ball tipped chopper about 1.5 millimeter long and this protects the posterior capsule much better than my small Sinsky hook like chopper So I am gradually bringing the lens matter in front and emulsifying the lens matter. This is the last portion of the nucleus. At this time, I bring down the vacuum to only 90 millimeter of mercury and flow rate 25 ml per minute ultrasonic energy is 65% with this low vacuum and with the ball tipped chopper pushing the posterior capsule down I emulsified the last piece 
this kind of ball tipped round bodied chopper is used by Dr. Nito Rosatelli, uh, probably the highest volume surgeon in the world. He does about 36,000 surgeries in a year. And now, before implanting the intraocular lens, I want to remove one iris hook because the iris hooks pull the iris forward and while implanting the intraocular lens, it will push the iris. If we remove on iris hook, the iris will fall back and the intraocular lens will go easily. It will not push the iris. Enlarge the main wound a bit and now here goes the intraocular lens. This is a single piece monofocal intraocular lens made of acrylic material. And now some more visco and time to remove the iris hooks. Before removing the iris hooks, I wanted to remove some cortex here and there if it is there because after removing the hooks people will come down and I cannot approach the uh, cortical matter. After removing the cortex I inject some visco again and now is the time to remove the hooks. The silicon guard is pulled backward. The margin is unhooked and then it is removed in this way. The hook is removed in such a way that it comes out easily. And after removing the hooks, we find that the people remains dilated. This is because iris hooks cause some damage to sphincter pupillae and the size of the pupil remains on the larger side. Now the Simco cannula is being used to remove the viscoelastic substance that is 2% HPMC. I use the bimanual irrigation aspiration cannula also. I go behind the eye well irrigate the capsular bag. Whatever visco is there in the bag is nicely removed. Use irrigation and aspiration for some time. And then come out. And now I have to close the side port at around o'clock. Corneal stroma is hydrated on either side. Corneal stroma becomes thick and the side port closes. The main wound has been constructed in such a way that it doesn't require any hydration. This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. At this time I am pulling the pupillary margin so that the pupil becomes little smaller. And the pupil is fairly round now. 
though it is larger than the size with which we started the surgery. Dental chamber is nicely formed. Let us see some post op pictures. Mild, very mild corneal edema. Dental chamber is quiet. All the wounds are nicely closed. Patient is having 6 by 24 unaided vision. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.